Hello dear students, I am Dr. Binoy Arikal, Associate Professor, Department of Commerce, Bhopal School of Social Sciences. The main objective of this module is to introduce you to different methods of depreciation. I will start the lecture with the meaning of the term depreciation. The term depreciation denotes decrease in the value of the fixed assets. Fixed assets means those assets which remain in the organization for a long period of time which is acquired by the organization not for selling purpose and which affects the long term profitability position of the organization. For example, land and buildings, plant and machinery, furnitures and fixtures, etc. Depreciation is the permanent and continuous decrease in the value of assets due to heavy wear and tear, obsolescence and reflection of time. Heavy wear and tear means it is being used for production, the asset. Effluxion of time means the passage of time, whereas obsolescence means change in fashion or change in trend. The following are some important methods of depreciation. Number one, fixed installment method. Number two, reducing balance method. Number three, insurance policy method. Number four, annuity method. And number five, depreciation fund method. In today's lecture, I will be covering the first method that is fixed installment method. My dear students, fixed installment method is also termed as original cost method, straight line method, equal investment method as well as simple method. In this method, if the rate of depreciation is not given, then the amount of depreciation will be calculated with the help of the following formula. Each year's depreciation will be equal to original cost of the asset divided by the estimated life of the asset. In case if the scrap value which is also termed as breakup value which is also termed as residual value or salvage value if it is given there will be a slight change in the formula. The formula will be original cost of the asset minus scrap value divided by the estimated life of the asset. Whatever amount of depreciation comes, it has to be charged always on the last date of each year. And depreciation is a non-cash expenditure. It has to be recorded in the debit side of profit and loss statement. Now I will be explaining you some important journal entries that we pass under this method. When the asset is purchased for cash, the entry will be asset account debit to cash account. When the fixed asset is purchased on credit, there will be a slight change in the entry. The entry will be asset account debit to vendor's account from whom we are purchasing on credit. For providing depreciation, the entry will be depreciation account debit to asset account. In case of sale of an asset, the entry will be bank account debit or cash account debit to asset account. Whenever there is sale of an asset, we need to calculate whether there is profit on sale or loss on sale. If it is profit on sale, the entry will be asset account debit to profit and loss account. And if it is loss on sale, we need to reverse the entry. Entry will be profit and loss account debit to asset account. Now I will be explaining you the fixed installment method with the help of the following example. Following information is available from the record of SK Company Limited in respect of the trucks used by it for its business. Truck number one was purchased on 1st April 2016 for rupees 20,000. Truck number two was purchased on 1st October 2016 for rupees 18,000. Truck number three was purchased on 1st April 2018 for rupees 12,000. And truck number 4 was purchased on 1st October 2018 for rupees 10,500. You are required to write up the motor vehicles account for the year from 2016-17 to 2018-19, which means we need to prepare this account for 3 years. Depreciation is written off at the rate of 20% per annum on the basis of straight line method. 
the rate of depreciation is given that is 20 percent per annum. Since per annum word is given, we need to calculate depreciation month wise and they have already mentioned which method? Straight line method and as I, as I have already explained, straight line method means fixed installment method or simple method or equal investment method. Now we will be checking the solution. This is the format of the truck account. We have the date column, particulars column and the amount column in the debit side. Again date column, particulars column and amount column in the credit side. On 1st April 2016, the organization has purchased truck entry asset account debit to bank account. That is the reason in the debit side we have mentioned to bank the amount is rupees 20,000. Same year on 1st October 2016, the second truck was purchased. Soon after 6 months, entry will be same asset account debit to bank account. That is the reason in the debit side we have mentioned to bank account amount is 18,000. In this particular year, there is no further purchase or there is no sale of asset, which means we need to charge depreciation at the end of the year. Depreciation is always charged on the last date of each year. So, the last date is 31st March 2017. So, we need to charge depreciation at the rate of 20 percentage. Truck 1 was purchased for 20,000 on 1st April. That means this asset is utilized for complete 12 months. We need to charge depreciation at the rate of 20 percent. So, 20,000 at the rate of 20 percent, the amount of depreciation is 4,000. Same year, on 1st October 2016, we have purchased the second truck for 18,000. On this, we need to calculate depreciation at the rate of 20 percent per annum, but very clearly 20 percent per annum was mentioned, which means we need to calculate depreciation month wise. So, how are we going to calculate? 18,000 multiplied by 20 percent multiplied by 6 divided by 12, because we need to charge depreciation from 1st October till 31st March. So, the amount of depreciation is coming 1800. Depreciation is always recorded in the credit side of the asset account. That is the reason by depreciation 4000 plus 1800, the total amount is 5800. Now, we need to close this account for this particular year. The total of debit is 38000, higher total to be posted in the opposite side for calculating the closing balance. By balance carried down 31st March 2017, it is coming 32,200. Whatever is the closing balance, that will become the opening balance in the very next year. So, 1st April 2017, we need to transfer the closing balance of previous year to the current year. That is the reason we have mentioned two balance brought down 32,200. In the year 2017, there was no further purchase of any truck nor we are selling any truck. There is no other transaction except depreciation and as I said, depreciation is always charged on the last date. That is the reason on 31st March 2018, we have mentioned by depreciation. Now, the depreciation has to be calculated on truck 1 as well as truck 2. This method is fixed installment method, also termed as original cost method, also termed as straight line method. The amount of depreciation will always be calculated on the original cost of the asset. The original cost of truck 1 was rupees 20,000. 20,000 at the rate of 20 percentage, the amount of depreciation is rupees 4,000. Truck 2, the original cost was 18,000 and in this year, we are utilizing this truck from 1st April till 31st March. So, 18,000 at the rate of 20 percent for complete 12 months, the amount of depreciation is 3,600. Hence, the total depreciation to be shown in the credit side of the asset account, 4,000 plus 3,600, 7,600 in the outer column. The total of debit of this account is 32,200. 
higher total to be placed in the opposite side for calculating the closing balance. The closing balance is coming 24,600. Now comes the last year. Whatever is the closing balance in the second year that will automatically become the opening balance for the last year. 1st April 2018 in the debit side two balance brought down 24,600. This was the previous year's closing balance. In the year 2018-19 two trucks were purchased first on the very opening date on 1st April 2018. We purchased the third truck for rupees 12,000. Entry, truck account debit to bank. That is the reason in the debit side, to bank 12,000 we have mentioned. Soon after six months, the fourth truck was purchased on 1st October 2018. Entry, asset account debit to bank. That is the reason in the debit side we have mentioned to bank and we purchased the fourth truck for rupees 10,500. There are no any, there are further no purchases, no sale, which means now we need to charge depreciation. Depreciation, as I said, to be shown always on the last date of each year, 31st March 2019. We need to charge depreciation on truck 1, truck 2, truck 3, as well as truck 4. But what is important? Depreciation will always be charged on its original cost. The original cost of truck 1 was rupees 20,000, rate of depreciation was 20 percent. So, 20,000 at the rate of 20 percent, the amount of depreciation for truck 1 is rupees 4,000. Truck 2, the original cost was 18,000, the rate of depreciation is 20 percentage, 18,000 at the rate of 20 percentage, the amount is coming 3,600. The third truck was purchased on 1st April 2018 in this particular year and it is being utilized till 31st March 2019 which means for complete 12 months we are utilizing this truck. Rate of depreciation is 20 percent, its original cost is rupees 12,000. 12,000 at the rate of 20 percentage for complete 12 months the amount of depreciation is coming rupees 2400. Now comes the last truck's depreciation. The last truck was purchased on 1st October 2018. The rate of depreciation is 20 percent per annum. This truck is utilized for 6 months. How to calculate the depreciation? 10,500 multiplied by 20 percentage multiplied by 6 divided by 12 the amount of depreciation will be 1050. So, we have shown all the depreciation 4000, 3600, 2400 and 1050. The total amount of depreciation is 11050 in the outer column. We need to close the account. The total of debit is coming 47100, higher total to be placed in the opposite side. 47,100 and now we will be calculating the closing balance. So, 47,100 minus 11,050, the closing balance is coming 36,050. This is the closing balance of the truck account on 31st March 2019 and this will become the opening balance in the next year. There are some merits and limitations of fixed installment method. The biggest advantage of this method is the calculation is very easy unlike other methods because depreciation is always calculated on its original cost and generally the amount of depreciation is fixed for all years. The limitation of this method is that in this case the amount of depreciation is constant it is not changing but the value of asset is decreasing hence this is the limitation. In the next module, I will be taking up few more questions of fixed installment method. That's all for today. Thank you.